What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are playing Seven Days to Die, the survival crafting game. I have stealthed out for a little bit so I can talk to you. Uh, this is currently on Alpha version 11.6. This is my solo play session. And this is episode two. Currently, we are going to be working on trying to get our first base of operation before nightfall. We have some clear out some zombies, we've lose some stuff. And we're going to see if we can get in this house without being seen. First, we're going to check to see if any of the doors are open. Nothing open in front. Pick that rock up. And we'll pick up this nest. We'll go back here, and I think we're safe from zombies for a second. Alright, no zombies. We're going to go ahead and use this stone axe to clear our way out of here. Alright, uh, you can crouch and jump over, but I'm going to want that open a little bit. For now, let's go ahead and close this. Okay, here's our issue. We can't do that because of this railing here. So for now, I'm going to seal this here. I'll cut down that tree later on so it doesn't disturb us. Go ahead and loot in here a little bit. Glass bottles, nothing. All right, before we go finish looting, let's go ahead and see if we can set up our base. One well, first things I want to do is fix our stone axe, actually. Well, let's go ahead and fix it one more time. We don't need these, we'll drop them down there. And we got a nice and fancy brand new stone axe. Zombies are not very good at jumping, so one of the things we can do is come down here and break the stairway. I like the undetected, so we can get a chance to work. We did clean out a lot of zombies in the area yesterday, so we have a good head start. Alright. Break this one up too. I said zombies, don't jump! We can, move, we can move you out of that. Um, we'll break this up and we got our first layer of safety. So we can jump up here. Alright, we're going to want to live all the way upstairs. I don't want that to go through. And this will be our house right in here. All right, first thing I want in my house is I'm gonna want a chest. We need to store stuff. Secure storage chest, we've not made one yet. We don't have enough wood. Let's go ahead and break these up. All right. This will later on be my drop-off chest, so we'll put this in here. And the drop-off chest will be right at the top of the stairs we come in. This is where we're going to put the stuff we'll want later on, don't necessarily need right now. We'll be working on... Bread. We'll see if I need that. All right. We got enough head start. We got a little bit of space in here. We don't need maple seeds. We might need some canned food. We don't need simple bandages. I don't need a flashlight right now. We'll go ahead and take our torch and go ahead and throw it up here. All right. Well, let's take a second loot and see what we got up here. In the oven. This corner cabinet, some people don't realize it's back there. It's a good idea to check it. It's always nice to find water because that means we won't spend time cooking it. So keep an eye out for that. And a refrigerator, no food. What kind of refrigerator are you? Okay. Um, I can break these down, but again, I told you we can crouch and jump over things. So we'll do that for now. 
Medicine cabinet. Nothing. What kind of medicine cabinet are you? Two track. Okay. We'll talk about those later. We got some chairs. Got some furniture. This stuff is good for burning. It's an easy source of burning. All right. And what do we got back here? A bed. The nice thing about the bed is by grabbing it, we can go ahead and start our first place to sleep. All right, this is an easy way to get cloth. You'll need cloth for a bunch of things. That's not a bad idea to gather. And we're starting to get dark. So let's go ahead and make sure we got this place. Crouch, jump. Being paranoid, we will go ahead and loot this trash. Oh, got a book. And we'll break another set of stairs. Alright, I broke my axe. I sort of did it on purpose because we have leveled up some. We are now level 5, so we can make something 50 to 100. So let's see if we can make a better stone axe. Get a little bit, still faulty. All right, uh, quality. Quality is based on a scale of basically 100 increments. Uh, faulty is from 1 to 99. Poor is from 100 to 199. So these. That's going to be a little bit dangerous jumping up. Um, dang it. I might put some blocks down there. Oh well, that was a mistake. See, I'll teach you guys by making mistakes. All right, we're gonna go up to the roof quickly. I've often slept on the roof, but the one problem with the roof is you actually do run into later on hornets. Hornets will come up on the roofs. All right, searching these things is a great place for scrap metal and short pipe. Short pipes are key for a lot of things. We'll need one to make a forge, which is our first real productive uh, crafting item. That in the fireplace. All right, we're gonna break up some stuff and clear it out a little bit, but just so I have an easy way through here. All right, we'll have to get a better axe quickly. All right. Go ahead and drop some more stuff here, and then we're gonna go downstairs and loot the place a little bit. Let's drop the bed. Okay, the bed is key because this is your spawn point. It's where you'll come back if you spawn. Um, so right now I have a spawn point. Also adds a little house indicator on my map. So now I will come back here. All right, crouch. Go through here. We're gonna search. Okay, now I have two an two antibiotics. What I'll do is go ahead and take one of these. Um, I always like to have one in reserve at least. Um, antibiotics do one of two things: uh, well, they cure infections and they help with wellness. My wellness just went up by one. Wellness is basically your stats for your health and for your um, ultimately. Uh, Stamina. So those two things are determined by your health. You want this. Um, okay, we got that. Later on, we'll break these up for scrap once we get a better tool. Okay, those token coins are good for one thing only at this point in the game. They are good for scrap iron. I want to loot downstairs if we can before we go to bed. break through here. Okay, we were below medium on our stone axe. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let it break. Or it does, let's go ahead and make the next one. So when it breaks, we'll have the next one ready. And hopefully it's better. Safe. 
<laughs> Not our lucky day. Alright, it is now 8 o'clock. I'm going to stop down here and go work on this next floor and continue looting. Trying to gather resources so we can survive the night. Alright, I have one other book, Leather Tanning. Let's go and read that. I can now make leather. Let's go and scrap some of the stuff. Um, leather is a good form of armor. I'm going to make some cloth armor first because I don't have any leather. Okay, we got some stuff we can do in here. I don't really need lead at this point in the game, but it's not a bad idea to collect it. God, we got a book. And we got a blood pack. Alright. This is Home Essentials. You can see some of the stuff we can make with this. Cloth Hammer is probably one of the best crafting tools in the game. Until we can find... Until we can find a nail gun. Alright, we have found Hunting Rifle. We already know that. So one of the things we can do with these books, if we play with other players on multiplayer, we can share them with it. But these can be crafted on paper. Paper is good for several things. But for now, we'll just craft it down. All right, we're grabbing these couches so we can have burning materials so we don't have to waste wood. And uh, we are pretty much done on this level. So we're gonna go up to our house, our residence. We need to break that tree. All right, I made a mistake. I should not have gotten rid of those stairs. So we can do this. Wood stairs. One, two, three, four. Heck, it's worth crafting wood stairs for one thing only, is the fact that we can now get some experience from making it. All right, left click to rotate them. Sometimes you need to swing it around a little bit to see which way it's looking. And the poor lighting is hard to tell. That looks right. Yep. Okay, here we get new stairs. Alright, you're wondering what are we going to do with those extra stairs? We could keep them for other stuff, but right now we are going to use them for a fire that we're going to build. These curtains again are a great source of cloth. We will need a lot of cloth. So I'm going to gather this. Alright, a lot of the cloth is stuck down here. So we'll come down here and gather it from here. Alright. Open this up a little bit and make another stone axe. Alright, stone axe. I think stone axe is under tools, but let me check. Alright, we can also break up some of this other stuff to scrap metal. I don't want to break up cans yet. Break up some stuff of brass. Scrap brass, just easier to carry in that form. All right. I'm gonna leave this platform here for now, and we are going to make our first fire. Campfire. Since we've not made it, we're gonna get experience from crafting it the first time. Don't have a lot of stone, don't have a lot of tools, only one pipe. So we're just going to craft one. We do not know how to make a forge yet, just forged iron, so we'll start with a fire. We need to go outside and make some, get some more stone. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our fire there. All right, the first implement of cooking we want to make is a stick. We got some cans. 
We also want to get some water for our cans. So let's go over here into the bathroom. You can't really see it very well. Here's our toilets. I need a little more light. You guys need some light. So let me go ahead and get the torch and then move it. Um, I want to do something with this first, so let's do this. this. Alright, what I'm going to do is, not that I'm really worried about Hornets right now, but I'm going to go up here. See the nice thing about antibiotics is that it helps us with our health. Alright, I want to do the torch. Alright. See these toilets? We can go in these toilets and take our empty cans and fill them with murky water. Do not drink murky water. Look over here. We don't have any pots or anything in our grill right now, so we can use this. We can cook our murky water. It'll take a minute and 20 seconds. That's going to be more than that. And this is going to give us some water. We need a little more time, so. There we go. That'll cook up. Let's go ahead and light this area up and when we don't have that and we'll all right this is gonna be our home got the bed over there so let's go ahead and see we have plenty of cloth what type of armor can we make we can make cloth and leather but we don't have anything for it we do have no armor so let's go ahead and start making some uh, armor to put on. We'll start with cloth boots. Great space up here. We'll start with the smaller pieces just in case. I think we have enough cloth for it all. Pick that up. We're going to do cloth head. We'll find better armor for right now, but hey, this is better than nothing. And we get experience for each item we craft. Okay, we just want to level. Alright, the durability on the items we craft is dependent on our level, as we said. So we are currently level 6, so we can make 60 plus 50 up to 100, 110. So.